Miss Raver, your art teacher here. Today I'm going to show you how to make a digital mosaic using Google Drawing. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to Google Classroom and you're going to open the lesson for the first week of quarter three. Then you're going to click on this link. When you open the link, you're going to see um, all of these pictures of like the Among Us character and the Pokemon and the emoji. And you're just going to pick one character to use for your art. If you would rather use something else, that is completely fine. You can go to Google, you can find an image, and then you can just copy and paste it here on this page. So you're going to delete all of the pictures that you don't want to use. So I was planning on doing the iguana, or you know what, I'll do the Among Us character. So I'm going to delete everything else. And you don't have to worry because this is your own copy. If you use the Google Docs um, version, the version that you will have in your Google Classroom. So you don't have to worry about deleting all of this. And then you're just going to make your character a little bit bigger so that it fills your page. Like so. Okay, maybe I'll make it a little bigger. And you could even trim it and make it even bigger if you want it really big. Okay, so now that I've fixed my Among Us character, I'm ready to add my mosaic tiles. So to do that, I click right here. Do you guys see where it says line? And I click on the arrow. I found two ways that you can do it. You can use the curve and the polyline. I haven't figured out how to use the scribble, but if you guys are better at this than me, you can play around and see which one works for you. The polyline, I think, is the easiest. The curve is better for curved areas, and the Among Us character has a lot of curves, so I'm going to start with that one. So then I take my cursor and I draw my shape. Now this is my tile. I can make that whatever color I want. We need a pink Among Us character. Sorry guys, but that's what I'm going for. So here it is. And then I can play around with it. Do I want to have a borderline? Do I want the borderline to be the same color? Um, I can also, let me show you a few things I can do. I can actually create a gradient. So if I go back to the paint, I can click on gradient and it shows all of these gradients. Um, I don't see a pink one, so I'm going to have to go to custom. So I click on custom and this is my preview. So here are my two shades. I've got the light gray shade and I've got the dark gray shade. So I'm going to start with my light gray shade. I want to turn my light gray shade to pink. And maybe I like it like that or maybe I want to take the, change the dark gray. So I go to the dark gray shade and I'm going to change that one. I don't really like the other pink colors, so I'm going to find another pink color on here. So I go to the pinks. Maybe I want it like more purpley. Maybe like that and hit OK. And I don't know what I just did, so let me try it again. So I click let me show you again. I click here where it shows the dark gray color and I click on custom. And I thought I picked, oh, I see why. It's because the little cursor is over here. So now I have to pick what color I actually want. So I want probably this color here. I put okay. Now it's pink to purple and I put okay. And so now that's the color of my shape. So here's my second shape and it automatically filled it with the same color as the other one. Um, something you might need to do is click on the zoom button. So you can zoom into like 200% and you can actually keep zooming after that. Because I noticed I've got these funny spaces. I'm not going to worry about them too much, but I do want to try and fill it in as much as I can. 
So I'm going to go back to my curved line up here at the top, and I'm going to draw another shape. But now that I'm closer, I can kind of really see what I'm doing. So I might want to stop like about there and then curve it around. Oh, it's touching. I don't really like that. So if I don't like, I'm not happy with my shape, I have kind of two choices. Let's see, I can. I can make it and then I believe if I click on the arrow button, I can move it. So let's see if that kind of solves my problem because I didn't like that they were overlapping. I think that looks pretty good. Kind of looks like my Among Us character has chicken pox, but you know, that's okay. And do if you want the exact same shape a bunch of times is you can click on it. You can con hit control C to copy it and control V to paste it. And then you'll have exactly the same shape over and over again. That may not work for me though, because it doesn't fit. Maybe if I go back to my arrow tool, I could turn it. And then it fits a little bit better. So you really want to create shapes that fit inside your form. So this is the form that I have, the shape that I have. And I'm going to use my cursor tool to try and build a shape that fits well in here. Notice that I, un I let go of the mouse every time I want to change my direction. Started clicking without me wanting it to, so I can go to the mouse, and then that way that line goes away, and then click back on the curve to make it come back. And I'm ready to draw a new shape. So this is from another school and they did an amazing job. So these students picked their own image. They put it into um, the same program, the Google Drawing, which you guys will have in your Google Doc, in your Google Classroom and you just open it. And then instead of using the pictures that I um, gave you to practice, they use their own pictures. So some of these turned out pretty cool. So I'll just show you a few different ones. It looks like they did mostly animals. Okay, so I'm almost done with my Among Us character. You can see I've got three different shades um, on the, I don't know what it's called, the mask or the eye. And then I've got two different shades here on the body. So I just need to fill in this little part here and this part here, and I'm done drawing my Among Us character. And then I can delete the background. So I've got this really empty space. So I think what I would do is try to fill it. So maybe I could go control copy, control paste, control paste, paste. And I can put these in this empty space to kind of really bring my character to life. I might have deleted it a little bit too soon, but if you're really familiar with the Among Us characters, you already know what goes in these missing spots. So I can go to Word Art and I can write imposter, hit enter, and then I can put it wherever I want it. I could put it on top of my picture, I could put it next to, I can make it smaller. And then I can change the color so I can make it match. And I can do a black border this time. And I can change the border weight to make it a nice dark outline. Let's see. I think that's spelled wrong. <laughs> So if I want to do a background color, I could pick a shape like a square. Let's see if I can get this to work. Then I hit control shift and the arrow down key and the square goes to the back. 
Did everyone catch that? So you click on your shape and then you can put a shape behind yours to fill the color. And you can make it fill the space, like the whole sheet if you want. Or you could do multiple shapes. So at this point, I just want you guys to have fun with it. So you could add different shapes. You could add different colors. Let's see, maybe I'll try a fill color. Maybe make it black like he's on outer space. So then I'll want to make my text color different, maybe white. There we go. Maybe I need to make my rectangle a little bit bigger. So now I just need to finish off the backpack, finish off the head. Okay, so this is a review. I just wanted to show you a few things. So step one, you open the Google Drawing in the Google Classroom and you choose your picture. Once you've decided which image you're going to use, you click on the line tool and you drop down to either the curve or the polyline. Uh, you may be able to use the other ones, but those are the two that worked for me. Then you make your shapes. You fill each section full of shapes. You can use triangles, squares, any shape you'd like. You can use make irregular shapes. The next step is to choose your color and your border color. So for this shape, you're going to either pick a solid color or a gradient, and then you're going to outline it with the color of your choice. I want you to notice that this crewmate has different colors in different areas. So notice the number one is the bright red color and also on the backpack. So that you would wanna use the same color for those two places. The number two is a different color. Uh, it's a different shade. So you'd want to use a darker shade of blue in that area than you did in area one. And then three, four, and five, you can see three is the solid white, and then it's a light gray and then a dark gray. So you're going to want to think about that when you're designing your mosaic. If you make a mistake, you can click undo. Um, in the corner, or you can click um, the arrow key and uh, move your shape to where you want it to go. I can't wait to see what you guys make. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing your art. All right, have a wonderful week, and I will see you all very soon.